Hello everyone and welcome to the test drive of the new hybrid controller that uh, has been installed in the 80820F and today I'm going to show you not only how it works but also how to switch between working modes so I'm going to power off the bike all right and if I want to use the assist mode only and not throttle mode uh, in the manual of the controller it says that uh, you should press both brakes fully in but because on this particular model and on my bike both brake levers are connected to the single lever connector sensor in the controller I can only push only one brake lever so I'm keeping that pressed and I'm going to power on the controller and you are going to get this error here and now I'm going to count to about 10 seconds in my mind so I'm going to let time pass and I'm going to think how nice this ride is going to be with the new controller and how good this bike performs and how much I like it and uh, time passes and now I'm going to release the level and now if I go on the highest level here assist I don't have any kind of working throttle I have actually three working assisted modes and one unassisted only your pedal power mode then if I power off the controller and I want to have both uh, assisted modes only two assisted modes and a full electric mode then I'm going to put the accelerator at maximum so I'm going to twist this at maximum I'm going to keep it that way and I'm going also to press one brake lever and now I'm going to power on the controller and I'm going to wait again for about 10 seconds while I'm keeping those pressed and accelerated and yet again this is such a nice terrain I'm going to rip this off-road with all the power I can put on this bike and it will be very 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 nice and I'm going to release that and now if I go on third assist mode if I accelerate I get motor action and for that I can get the full unlimited mode but really you are going to get about 30-35 km per hour under full load and the nicest thing about this controller it has cruise control and it's enabled by default on mine so when this P with assist underneath is activated it's going to keep the speed constantly when you touch the brake or the accelerator it will disengage and go to the normal working mode so that's how you choose the working modes so first we are going to turn this off again and I'm going to select the assisted mode so only brake lever and only power it on and I'm going to wait again for about 10 seconds so that the controller knows that uh, I don't want to be lazy and I want to pedal and have three assisted modes all right so let's check this out so I'm on uh, third assist mode and I have no accelerator right so let's hop on the bike and I'm going to go into zero mode zero mode is your pedal power nothing more nothing less I hope that you can see the display I have kind of tilted it downwards it's a regular bike with added weight so I'm going to now select the assist level one and I'm getting power to the bike so I need to change gears and I'm getting about 15 kilometers per hour and this road will actually not let me go that fast Uh, and I hate mud but I have an assisted bike so I'm just going to pedal this and I have escaped that and now let's see on the second level assist it's even faster it's going crazy that's about probably 20 kilometers per hour let's see now I'm going to try to get some speed here yes it's assist me about for about 20 kilometers per hour 
and now on this road actually I can't get too fast because it's too much for going fast but not too much for this bike yet I'm going to try to return it's a very big tractor ditch that has not been used for ages and I can't go through that so I'm going to try to return I'm on assisted level mode 1 and the bike is now putting power wow and that's so good I can tell you from the start that the new assisted modes are much more powerful than the single assisted mode that the old controller had so when you start to pedal this really puts out a lot of power and a lot more acceleration that the old controller did that was kind of lazy when you are going uphill it was like come on just pedal up i'm tired i don't want to put too much power into this bike and now this thing really really puts a lot more power into it so that's great and i'm now going to select the third level crazy assisted mode and this should be really crazy and it is i need to brake because because i hate mud i'm going to pass this mud and now the assisted mode will kick in and i'm going to let it rip and I'm going to give it some pedal power also. Jump this. Suspension does this job. And now full speed. And you get here 24, almost 25. So the assisted mode works up to the full assisted legal speed. And that was kind of a crazy ride. But yet again, felt super safe on this oversized tire bike and now I'm going to stop I'm going to shut down and I'm going to keep the throttle at maximum brake power this on I'm going to think again that I'm going to do this road one more time and that I will like it very much because it's a superb road and now if I select third mode and I use the acceleration ah that's so relaxing and now I'm going to get up to top speed that's selected in the controller if you have limited this to 25 you are going to get 25 if it's unlimited you can get anything between 30 35 38 kilometers per hour and uh, that's because this as i've told you in the initial review of this bike has a tall geared motor so that means that uh, this motor it's kind of made for higher speeds but has lower torque so it accelerates slower but gets to higher speed but if you are very heavy like i am and you are doing off-roading or going uphill then you are not going to be able to get full speed but if you are going slightly downhill on a flat road and if you are not fat like i am then you are going to get more speed that you get with a regular bike so it's kind of a interesting combination yet again this bike will go uphill with the new controller much more better than the bike with the old controller so simple yet very interesting and with the electric mode i can exploit this bike like i want to i can combine my pedaling with the electric throttle i want to give it more electric power i can give it or i can pedal myself i can go also into the zero assist mode and now it's only me so i need to go on the low gear so i can pedal myself because you maybe are hearing me on the camera i'm already tired but also i get two assisted modes on level one this is more docile and it takes me up to about 15 kilometers per hour not 50 15 so i'm going to return because i'm ending the road here so it's again 15 kilometers per hour goes pretty fast and on the second gear i can go 
do something about 20 something kilometers per hour, plenty enough. And let's see now. Oh, yet again, that mud. I hate mud. That's better. I need some more gears here to get some speed. And let's see now. Go on. And jump that. Okay. And the second assist mode. Second assist mode when you are in hybrid mode gets you up to 25 kilometers per hour. So you have only two gears, one slow and one fast. While on only assisted mode, you get three gears and you have one in the middle that's around 20 kilometers per hour. So 15, 20, 25. And that's how this works. Another thing that I like very much, if you are going on third mode, that's the electric mode, you still have zero assistance so you can actually use the full gears and pedal like a normal bike uh, and that's good for your exercise but if something goes bad in front of you and you need some extra power you don't have to go to assisted and wait for the controller to pick up you just use the accelerator bypass the danger and then continue pedaling so that's really nice using it like that so I like that it doesn't mix the assisted mode with electric mode so the hybrid controller as they call it it's super nice and I like it that the fact that you want to use this on a city and you are from Europe and you are not allowed to have a throttle here you can quickly disable this do your commuting with this bike but if you go somewhere outdoor you go biking outdoor of course but if you go somewhere on a road that there's no police and no problems with the law and you want to really get some speed you can just enable the throttle and have fun with it so that's best of the worlds in combination of controllers until now so that's how the new controller works in uh, some simple tests uh, be sure to follow my next uploads because I'm going to do kind of uh, unedited raw video which I'm going to write this with no more boring stuff, no more talking, no more music, just plain riding this bike like I normal ride, normally ride my bikes and you are going to see the controller doing various stuff like going uphill, going off-road, going on uh, good roads going with cruise control on full electric in assisted mode all of that in one single video so you are going to get an idea how this bike performs in all kind of riding conditions and i hope that you are also going to enjoy that so until then see you and bye bye